Hi and welcome to the Venezuela Weekly News Review. In this episode, we're looking at the biggest story of the week from Venezuela and assessing whether or not it's fake news. This week, it's a story that Venezuela's infant mortality rate has risen by 30%. This claim is based on newly released data from Venezuela's Ministry of Health, which shows that the number of babies who died before the age of one increased between 2015 and 2016. The story was pretty widely reported, but Joe Emersberger over at Znet seems to think there's something wrong with these reports. In fact, he seems to think the data shows a 30% annual variation in infant deaths, not a 30% increase in the overall infant mortality rate. Huh, all right, um, what, what's the difference between these two numbers? Well, the infant mortality and annual variation are actually two very different things. Now, the difference might seem kind of subtle, but it's actually really important. So before we continue, I should warn you, this episode is going to be a little bit technical and we might have to resort to a little bit of maths. Anyway, diving into it, the infant mortality rate of a country is basically determined by comparing the number of births to the number of deaths in the first year of life. For example, let's say you have an infant mortality rate of 15. That, will prob that means that if a thousand babies are born in your country, 15 will unfortunately die before their first birthday. Now, this is a really important measurement for how well developed a society is, how well uh, functioning its healthcare system is. And one really great thing about this rate is that it's pretty much an international standard. You can use it to easily compare countries big and small. Annual variation, however, is a whole different kettle of fish. It is, well, the difference between the number of babies that died last year and the number this year. Now, it can be kind of useful, but its usefulness is pretty limited compared to the infant mortality rate. Why, you might ask? Well, mostly because it just doesn't give us a full picture of what's really going on. So let's say with a 30% increase in the total number of deaths over the previous year. If, say, the number of babies born also happened to increase by, say, 30%, then there's been no actual change in the death rate. Or for example, let's say that the number of births increased by 50%. In this scenario where there's been a 30% increase in the total number of deaths, there's probably actually been a decrease in the infant mortality rate. And in fact, this has kind of happened in the past. And if you look back at previous reports from the Venezuelan Health Ministry, they often show increases in the overall number of infant deaths, but not in the infant mortality rate. And this is generally why most people are much more interested in the infant mortality rate, not in the annual variation. It's just that the infant mortality rate gives us a much better picture of what's going on overall. So going back to Venezuela, does this report mention annual variation or in the infant mortality rate? Well, here's that number everyone's talking about, that 25 point, sorry, 29.5 right on the end there and it's pretty clearly listed as annual variation. But let's just check the maths to be sure and see if it adds up. So the report clearly states that the 2015 and 2016 total infant deaths were at 8,704 and 11,272 respectively. Next to it there, there's that number everyone's quoting as the infant mortality rate, which says, as you can see, 29.5. But if we get those 2015 and 2016 death rates and crunch the numbers, we find we have an annual variation of 29.5%. So either that's a crazy coincidence or Joe is right on the money. In fact, if you read the report cover to cover, you'll find no mention of any of the mortality rates at all. And trust me, I've done it. Or you know what? Don't trust me. Read the report for yourself, which I will include in the video description. So. Why do so many people seem to think the infant mortality rate has increased by 30%? Well, the problem here is twofold. One, the Venezuelan government absolutely sucks at releasing data. Two, the international media really sucks at understanding and communicating what little data we're given. So, for example, if you pay really close attention to this report from Reuters, it never actually says infant mortality rate. It just says infant mortality. Now, many readers probably naturally assumed when Reuters refers to infant mortality, they're referring to the infant mortality rate. But they might not have been. In fact, it's perfectly possible they were referring to the annual variation of infant mortality and not the infant mortality rate. 
Is anybody confused yet? <laughs> anyway, Reuters article never makes the distinction totally clear, though I suppose that's small fries compared to the fact that plenty of other news outlets blatantly got it wrong, incorrectly reporting the annual variation as the infant mortality rate. Having said that, the Venezuelan Health Ministry report isn't a whole lot better. I mean, maybe journalists got a little bit confused because after all, the page itself is titled Infant and Maternity Mortality. So you would probably assume that a page with a title like that would actually include the infant mortality rate, but it doesn't for some totally inexplicable reason. Top of this, the ministry never even officially announced the release of this report. There was no press conference, no press statement. And as far as I'm aware, the ministry hasn't responded to any media inquiries lately. So if you're a journalist trying to clarify something but you find confusing in this report, then you're up the proverbial creek without a paddle. You're kind of just left to yourself to figure this out. So it's, I guess it's not entirely surprising that so many people have got the wrong idea. So to sum up, no, there's no reason to believe Venezuela's infant mortality rate is anywhere near 30. Though it's not quite fake news. Instead, it's, I guess, more of a question of misunderstood data. In fact, there's no way to even know if infant mortality rate is increasing or decreasing. We just don't have enough data. Anyway, that's our news review for the week. I would like to thank Joe Emersberger for bringing this story to our attention. There's a link to his article in the video description, along with a link to the original report, which you can read for yourself. This is Ryan Malatoucher reporting for VenezuelaAnalysis.com. I'll see you next time.